Hey guys, welcome to xheli.com and today we're looking at another spaceship from WL Toys. Today we're looking at the Q222 spaceship from WL Toys. It is on the smaller scale of quadcopters. Uh, if you've seen the Q303 or the others, they're much bigger. This one is a smaller version. Plastic shell construction, gear driven motors for more efficiency. It comes with a 3.7 volt, 730 milliamp hour battery for six to eight minutes of flight time. And the cool thing about this quadcopter is that it is FPV. So that it comes with a monitor and it comes with an onboard camera and you can fly viewing footage from the monitor first person view. Some other cool key features of this Q222 is that it has altitude hold. Basically, it will recognize where it is as far as height is, altitude, and once you push a button on the transmitter, it'll hold that altitude for you. So the quad itself, pretty lightweight. We'll see how it does in the wind today. Uh, Q222 livery on the top with WL Toys, white stripes for great visibility on the bottom you'll find led lights very bright green for the front red for the rear like tail lights you also have color coordinated blades red on the front and black for the rear you can see that camera mounted on the bottom it does come with a micro sd card and a micro sd card reader for a gigabyte that is plugged into this slot down here the camera is removable if you want to make it a bit more lightweight. Now on the back of the quad, you also have an LED light that allows you to recognize that you're looking at the tail of the quad. You also have removable, easy, detachable prop guards that go on all four corners. You also have cooling fins on each leg to keep the motor and the board cool. Especially on hot days like this, it comes in real handy. Now the motors are coreless and they also are gear driven for maximum efficiency. So as I mentioned before, on that little battery, you're gonna get six to eight minutes of flight time. We'll give you a close-up look at the battery. Nice and flat, single cell, JST type connector, standard. So once you have everything plugged up, you can install the monitor and turn it on. The monitor is installed via thumb screws, also comes with a sunshade. So you can see it clearly on bright days. Move the quad around so you can see what it's looking at. Transmitter has all your standard features you'll find on the WL Toys transmitter. 40% to 100% sensitivity uh, to give you signal indicator and a battery indicator for the transmitter. Buttons here operate those functions as mentioned before, return home or the altitude hold. And you have trim tabs and your basic joysticks at mode two. Let's go ahead and give it a test flight on this windy day. Okay, first flight of the Q222. I'm flying it on 100% right now because it's pretty windy out here. It's a very lightweight quad and it seems to do okay. I'm in a bright big field, really hot today, triple digits, 100 degrees. Very responsive, six axis gyros working very well. It's a quick one. Very fast. LED lights are not on. Let me turn those on. Okay, LED lights are on now. Nice and bright. I can still see them. Green on the rear, red for the front. It's about 3 p.m. right now. Nice and sun's up real high and I can still see those LED lights, which is real awesome. Wow, it's fast. All right, let's take it up high and it's not windier up there. Whoa. Okay, let's go ahead and try that infamous WL Toys altitude hold. Basically, you press down on the right stick and you'll notice that the green light on the back, the green LED facing us is now solid instead of flashing. And now I'm banking left and right without moving, without manipulating throttle. 
and it works pretty good. Usually when you start banking left and right or moving the right sticks, you will lose altitude. Delbella Toys has come with a clever fix for that and it holds its altitude. Very awesome. I like that. And again, notice the green light on the back of the quad is now solid. That means you are in altitude hold. If I turn it off, pressing down the right stick, it starts flashing, meaning manual altitude. I'll press it again and you feel, you actually see the quad lock into a lock into place, which is pretty cool. I'm going to fly around like that. All right, let's try altitude hold with flipping. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it. Wow, I don't even have to manipulate throttle. It's almost too easy. I just hit the flip button, rock the stick. And if you'll notice my sticks, I'm not even touching them after I flip. It's almost like you're cheating. All right, so you'll notice that after you flip an altitude hold, it takes a split second or so for the board to lock back into that altitude and you'll notice the green light on the back flashes letting you know when it is an altitude. Let's try it again. All right, that one stayed locked. All right, notice that the light went out and went back on so it finds that altitude again. Pretty cool feature, that light is very useful in letting you know what the quad is doing. All right, and that's a quick look at the WL Toys Q222 Spaceship. Be sure to look out for this product coming soon at xheli.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check out other awesome videos of Dobilla Toys quadcopters. We'll catch you guys in the next video.